Okay, so here we are looking at the testing a more general hypothesis where we assume that our beta j coefficient it is equal to a specific value a j. And I'm going to show you another example. And in this example, we're going to look at 506 communities in the Boston area. And we're going to estimate a model relating the median house price with uh, a number of uh, community characteristics. This first variable, the log of NOx, it shows the amount of nitrogen oxide in the air. And this distant variable is a weighted distance of a community from five uh, employment centers. And the rooms is the average uh, number of uh, rooms in a house. This final variable is the average uh, student teacher ratio of a school in the community. So we're going to regress this model and uh, get the results. We may be interested in knowing whether nitrogen oxide has any impact on uh, the house prices in an area. Because we are using log log model, the coefficient value associated with L nox, it shows uh, the elasticity of house price with respect to nitrogen oxide in the air. And our null hypothesis is that uh, this elasticity is minus 1, which means 1% 1 increase in the amount of nitrogen oxide in the air decreases house prices by 1%. Next thing we want to do is we're going to calculate the t values. And again, I'm going to extract uh, this coefficient and this standard error. And then I'm going to set my hypothesized values equal to minus 1 and going to get uh, this t value. The calculated t value is 0 0.39 and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use alpha equal 5% and 1% degrees of freedom equal 501 and I'm going to calculate our critical values. So our critical value at 5% is 1.64 and at 1% it is 2.33. So this is our t value 0 0.39 as we can see it is less than 1.64 at 5%. One thing that you should always do is when calculating t values make sure that you are plugging in uh, minus 1 in this formula because there is minus right outside. So we, we fail to reject our null hypothesis. In this case, we're going to conclude that controlling for all other factors, there is little evidence that the elasticity of uh, house prices with respect to nitrogen oxide uh, in the air is uh, equal to minus 1. So that is our conclusion. In the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, the economic or practical significance that we talked about in the previous chapter and we're going to bring in the statistical significance and then we're going to look at uh, these three components together and uh, I'm going to show you a couple of examples that sometimes uh, statistical significance it's uh, important and in some other cases if uh, the practical importance is uh, not large, then even a large statistical significance is uh, meaningless. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.